Hello, Merry Christmas. Now, today is a special day. Now, that's why the Lord have laid in my heart all this week. I've been sharing with you on why Jesus came. So important that you know and that you think about these things. Now, today I'm going to be sharing with you something so, so important because it's Christmas Day. And, and the third reason I'm going to be sharing with you today is He came to give us life. Praise God. Isn't that amazing? This is why Jesus came. If you want to ask me the best of all, this is the best of all. He came to give us life. Now, you know, John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Now, take note of this part. That whosoever believes in him, that's Jesus, should not perish but have everlasting life praise god now notice he said believing in jesus will give you what eternal life now I, you know I, I, sometimes i think on this and i ask myself this question like how many people truly have believed this truth now jesus said this himself he was preaching to nicodemus and he said it so it's not like someone was saying it of him he said it himself that whosoever believes in jesus should not perish but have something so it's not just about preventing you from perishing it's about giving you a reason not to perish see so he says you are going to have everlasting life or eternal life actually it's eternal life now how does this work i'll tell you how it works remember jesus said the words that i speak unto you they are spirits and they are life now people think oh i came out for the altar call i believe in jesus christ so i have received eternal life see people just think eternal life is something that is deposited inside of me so now oh, i have received eternal life and, and, and now listen let me tell you this truth and get this right eternal life is lived in christ why we have eternal life is because we are now in christ and christ is now in us now what sustains the eternal life is when we dwell in him now what does it mean to dwell in him it means everything about your life goes through him see so you see i shared with you on on, on the first day it says as many no yesterday as many as are led by the spirit of god they are the sons of god because god made us to be led by his spirits now you need to know this sometimes people think oh it's because of our sin jesus came in. if 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 adam had not sinned, jesus wouldn't have come but let me tell you something also adam still needed eternal life did you get that adam needed eternal life so why because oh i wish you will understand this i, I think i preached a message on this you can you can call and, and get it listen god when he made man in genesis chapter one the bible says god created man in his image because that's what he said he said let us make man in our image and after our likeness hey but then he now formed man see his word in genesis 1 was let us make man in our image and after our likeness so the bible said and god made man in his image and the image of god created in him male and female he created them but you see that was not when god formed man that was when god spoke his mind concerning man now that's all you find in genesis chapter one in genesis chapter one god was speaking his mind god was speaking what he wanted to do now life actually started from genesis chapter two now when god eventually created man when he formed man he formed man out of the dust and breathed into him the breath of land the bible said man became a living soul not a spirit being you need to understand this so adam was not in the image and likeness of god yet he wasn't now you say so what, what are you talking about oh sure it is not that because they sinned 
so they now demoted or god now demoted them from being his image no they had not they oh I, I wish you will understand this they were not in his image and in his likeness that's why when jesus came remember god is a spirit now for adam to be in the image and likeness of god he had to be a spirit but adam was never a spirit he was made a living soul now that's not god's final bust stop god wasn't done with adam yet before the sin and that sin now separated them so god didn't finish what he wants to do in adam are you getting what i'm saying so jesus comes and he tells nicodemus the reason you need to get born again is this that which is born of the flesh is flesh and that which is born of the spirit is spirit so you need to be born again so even adam if he had not sinned he would have still needed to be born again said so what are you talking about oh yeah i don't have time to share that with you but listen get this and that's what i want you to know Jesus came to give us life and that life is eternal life. That life is what makes you a spirit. With this life, you don't die. Hey, <sighs> I'm going to talk about this phrase I just made now in another broadcast and trusting God to help us. But that's the truth. With this life, you don't die. You know, there's this misconception. L let me tell you this everybody who is dead i mean no matter how great or how anointed they are it, as long as they died they are not in heaven so what are you talking about no they are not in heaven so where are they they are prisoners to death death is a spirit and they are prisoners to death until the day we will defeat death and that's the day death is going to give them up so so when we say oh so he's gone to be with the lord no it's not true it's not true they are not with the lord they are captives right now in the hands of death waiting for their redemption that's why the bible said when the trumpet sound the dead in christ shall rise first now before that trumpet sounds we must defeat death how are we going to defeat death? Simple, by believing what Jesus said. Whosoever believes in him should not perish. We've not come to that place of believing yet. We are still struggling with a lot of things. We are still struggling with the things that Jesus said. You know, he said, the one who believes in me will not see death. Jesus said that. You know, sometimes we try to, you know, oh, you know, absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Who said that? Is it Jesus that said that? No, it was Paul that said it. Doesn't mean he was right. Or it doesn't mean he understand what he was saying. But listen, death is the enemy of God. And I pray that the church will get to that point where we'll look at death eyeball to eyeball and say, I have defeated you. Praise God. Now, this is Christmas Day. Praise God. So enjoy yourself. When you're chewing all the chicken and all the whatever, rice and all that, chew this one also and think about it. Praise God. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.